update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a sea of green out there. You've got all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. Dow's up four tenths percent, 135 points, about 1% for the S&P, or 40 points, 1.5% for the NASDAQ 100, 223. The Russell's up seven tenths, or 12 points, one and seven tenths for the semis. They're up 62. Gold is up $19. Silver's up 18, uh, 82 pennies. That's a three and a half percent move there, about 1% for gold. Lights recruit off 44 cents. Natural gas down a nickel. And the 30-year Treasury up one point and nine ticks. She's printed out at 119.21. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin upper left-hand corner of the ES Mini. What do we know about it? Well, what we do know is that the bottom of its weekly profile, bullish in structure, by the way, held, and it held on Friday of last week, 43.77. So the S&P 500 does not have a change in trend signal. As far as where is price headed to, I've got two different sets of profiles. We'll look at these now during the regular show. We'll look at the white background. Here we would say price is going to go target 44. 47 to 44.66. Now I'll go with 44.66. If you take a look at the spot volatility, over the last three trading sessions, price has not been able to take out the prior highs, but it has been able to take out the prior lows or at least trade below them for a bit. Now we're trading below that. That suggests to me that the spot volatility has changed its trend for the time being and is likely to go target that 15.47 level. That's a 50 day exponential moving average. In the case of the NQ, you can see that also the last four trading sessions or three trading sessions, price has not made it to the prior lows. And we're trading above yesterday's high in the NQ. This suggests to Stevie that the NQ wants to go target that 15,358 level. But during the Trader's Edge show, we need to go figure out where that oscillator and change line. My guess is right now it's right where we're at. So we're right up at a resistance level. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, yesterday it formed a TD9 count top. It closed above 103.62. Would negate that signal. If you take a look at Goldilocks out here, trading with inside a bullish structured profile. Do I have a bottoming pattern? Not really. But price is likely going to go target the top of that profile. That's where the sellers reside at 1953. Now, in the case of silver, there are no sellers at this stage of the game. And price is trading above its 0.618 retracement of its last leg lower. So 24.78 would be its next price target area. Lights recruit earlier today was trading below 78.60. If it did close below 78.60, it would establish an A to B equals CD to the downside. With regard to natural gas, it's trading below the bottom of its weekly profile. Could be telling us it wants to go target 257. 30 year treasury formed a TD9 count bottom. If it were to close above the top of its profile at 120.05, that would be a change in trend signal. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you have to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon.